name is Bryce Walker and I'm with Advanced CRM Solutions. Today I'm going to be providing a brief tutorial on the Dealer Socket Blackbird dashboard. <clears throat> this specific tutorial is designed for uh, salespeople as users. Also, of course, valuable to managers when helping their sales team get set up in the system. One of the great advantages of Blackbird is that the dashboard is widget based uh, and completely modular. What that means is that you can set up all of these widgets however you see fit. You can choose what information you want displayed on your dashboard, how you want it displayed, and how you want that widget positioned as well, uh, which provides some flexibility for salespeople since we all think a little bit differently. Personally, I like to work from hottest to coldest. Uh, that's just how my sales brain works. So I always put appointments as my first widget. And this gives me top of mind awareness on when my appointments are for the day and what I've got coming up as well. Um, so not only does that help me remember when I need to be available, uh, but that also provides me with a good idea on what my pace is and if I have enough uh, visits scheduled to sell as many cars as I want to sell. From there I move on to my opportunities, which is our true pipeline. An opportunity is a deal jacket, it's an unconverted customer, uh, it is any unconverted customer that is assigned to you as a salesperson. That's always followed by tasks, and tasks are like post-it notes that we slap on those opportunities to remind us of what our next follow-up action should be. Uh, that could be, you know, send an email, make a phone call, you have an appointment with this customer. Um, so tasks are very useful in helping us stay organized and governing our follow-up activity. Next, I always put our sold vehicle count. Uh, that's obviously something that every salesperson wants uh, readily available to them so they can make sure that they're going to earn what they want to earn that month. From there we go on to some smaller widgets. Uh, I love having the uh, internet response time displayed here. It helps me understand if my speed of response uh, is optimum for success. Uh, just want to pause on this and provide a little bit of insight guys. A lot of people think that a, an hour or less is a great response time. Uh, in our industry. I used to think the same thing uh, until I started running my own BDC and started doing case studies on our data. I actually found out that an hour is really, really poor. Um, in fact, if you take more than 20 minutes to respond to a lead, you have the same likelihood of making successful contact as if you waited 24 hours, which is pretty abysmal. Um, when you do respond in less than 20 minutes, you have about a 90% chance of contacting that customer successfully and you have about a 283% better chance of getting an appointment with that customer. So speed of response is one of the things that salespeople have control over that has the greatest impact on their ability to convert deals. Um, so I feel like that's very, very important to have right there in front of me all day. We also have a widget to add an up into the system. Of course, you can add an up on the mobile app as well. We'll talk about that later. Uh, we've got a widget for unconverted ups, completed calls for the day. That helps me keep my pace on follow-up, appointments created today, and then appointments shown today as well. And then down here, we've got some more general uh, bar graphs, which are going to show us our completed tasks for the day and then also for the month to date. And all of these widgets are interactive, guys, so you can click on any of these fields to uh, access more detailed information. And we also have one for sales steps as well. Um, so guys, let me just show you really quick. Up here in the top right hand corner, we have the widget library. Um, I recommend that you jump in here because not everything that I have on my screen is going to come as a default widget when you set up a new user. Um, so you can jump in here and see what dealer socket has to offer in the different categories and then you can go ahead and add whatever it is that you see fit. Um, now they had recently added these appointment widgets which tells me that we can expect to see new widgets from dealer socket in the future. I believe that that's one of the ways that they're going to continue to provide value within their system. So I'd keep an eye on this and just keep coming and checking back to see if there's anything new that you might want to use. And it's very simple when you decide that you want to add a widget. Um, all you have to do is just click on it and then make your selections and hit save. Um, I'm set up as an administrator, so it's naturally going to provide me with manager oversight. But you can obviously go through and, and adjust the team however you see fit. 
and for salespeople it will naturally default to their book of business. Uh, we can also adjust the date range and of course the size of the widget as well and then once we're satisfied we can hit save and it will place it on the dashboard and then we can go ahead and position it you know wherever we see fit. We also have these three dots up here guys in the top right hand corner when we click on that it gives us the ability to rearrange the widgets and uh, it kind of grays everything out and then we can just drag and drop uh, into a new position. All right, guys, there's a couple things that are worth mentioning at the top of the screen here. Obviously, we have the ability to chat with dealer socket support if we're running into a problem. Uh, we also have the orphan inbox. Uh, some people call it the unmatched inbox. Call it what you will. Um, this is an inbox which serves a very specific purpose. So most of the time when a customer emails us, we're going to get a notification. That email is going to go into the work history uh, in their opportunity, and everything's nicely organized. However, sometimes customers do funny things that prevent the system from functioning correctly. Uh, for example, they might submit a web lead with one email and then start communicating with you from another, in which case we can't match those together. So those emails are going to go into this inbox. I encourage everyone to check this at least twice a day, beginning of shift, end of shift, uh, just to make sure that you don't miss any valuable communications from your customers. Uh, not only can that cost you deals, but it can also cost you bad reviews and, you know, other problems with heaters and things like that. Um, next up guys we've got socket talk. Now socket talk is something I'm going to elaborate on a lot more in one of our next videos where we go through the whole workflow of processing a deal in dealer socket. Um, but I'll just stop on this really quick and explain that this is a text messaging integration. It protects you from liability uh, that you would be exposed to by using your personal device. Uh, it allows you to template responses, it allows you to send pictures, and it also allows you to chat internally with the rest of the team in the dealership, which can be very useful. After that, guys, we've got notifications, and this works a lot like social media. Uh, when you get a notification, you'll have a red number up there. Click on it, and it'll explain what kind of notification it is, new lead, reassigned lead, inbound email, inbound call, skate alert, a lot of different things that you can set up there. Um, but that definitely helps people, you know, keep a, a good handle on what's going on with their book of business. Next, we've got Dealer Socket University, guys, which is some basic training lessons for Dealer Socket. I definitely recommend that you go through all of that. Um, it's very valuable information. And uh, that's pretty much all I've got for you guys today as far as the dashboard is concerned. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we are going to be doing more of these tutorial videos. Um, so if you found this valuable, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me directly at bwalker at adv, that's Apple David Victor, CRM solutions.com. More than happy to uh, help with any questions, technical issues, etc., that you might have uh, with whatever CRM system you're using. Um, so again, guys, thanks for watching. I do appreciate your time and happy selling.